Hi, this is Corey Robertson, co-author of The Women of Duck Commander. Well, we get lots of questions about, you know, how we live, how we all live together and get along and whether we actually do get along and things like what's it like to raise a family in the spotlight. And I think people are just interested. So we were happy to share. We've always been a family that's really an open book. We're open to kind of sharing our good times and bad with others. And so we do it on a daily basis with friends and people at our church and in our community. And so why not put it into a book for everyone to be able to read? We were excited to do that. I've actually listened to audiobooks myself over the years. I love to read. And so sometimes I'll get an audiobook and listen to it myself. And my memo is a huge audiobook listener. She listens to books on tape all the time. And so when we had the chance to do it ourselves, I think it's really neat to hear from the actual author's voice. And sometimes when you hear someone's voice, you know, you can get more meaning behind it than just to read it on a page. So I think it was important for it to actually be our voices to read our book ourselves. Filming takes a lot of time, you don't realize. And there's so many people behind the scenes making this happen. You know, our film crew work really hard to capture what you see on TV every day. So this was kind of a more calming, easier process. You get to sit in a nice, warm booth and just talk. And I really actually enjoyed it a good bit. Willie and I met in third grade at a summer camp when he asked me on the Moonlight Hike. And I thought he was the cutest thing I'd ever seen. And I guess the rest is history, as they say. I think it's about treating each other with true love. A lot of times people say they love one another, but they don't actually treat each other with the way the Bible says is love, which is patience, kindness, gentleness, self-control, is not proud, is not rude. It's tough to be that and all of that on a daily basis, but I think that's the most important part of marriage is to actually treat each other with the kind of love that the Bible defines as love. And that involves kindness and respect and patience and love and all those good qualities that sometimes can be tough. It's important to live that and have that in your life. Most importantly, it's our love for God and the knowledge of God's love for us and what he did for us and that we all are sinners and in need of God's grace and his love. If he can offer that to us, that unconditional love and that forgiveness that God offers to us, then we should be able to offer that to other people. And the Bible says that the greatest commandments are love God with all your heart and love your neighbor as yourself. That's really how I try to live. It sounds simple, but that's how I try to live my life. I hope listeners will be encouraged that they can do this, that they can have a strong, healthy family, that they can live their day life with the values that they have, that they can put God first, that they can choose to live a life for God, even when it's tough. I was very blessed to have been taught that at an early age from my family, and we are doing that for our children, but I know a lot of people don't have that advantage, but I hope that people understand that they can start it now, that they can start it within their family, that they can build a type of family that loves God loves each other, and carries their strength through that.